In version 16 of Google Chrome, there is a nice new feature a lot of people have been waiting for, and that is multiple users in the same browser. Now, right now, I only have me, the only Google Chrome user ever, probably. I don't think there are any other Google Chrome users anywhere. But I can add a new user, the second Google Chrome user, by clicking new user, and this is uh, maybe not the most communicative way to show you how this works, um, but when you click it, Google Chrome just pops up a new window. Now, here's what you want to pay attention to when you're trying to get this set up. See how there's a little cloud icon thing that says shady when I mouse over it? Now, if I go over here, this creepy white person, that's me, the default profile. Um, and these are two separate windows. This is, this is my browsing session, and this is theirs. So if I tried to log into Gmail, for example, You'll notice a couple of things. Um, nothing gets filled out because none of my saved passwords are in there because this is Shady's account. Um, and, uh, and you'll see I have all my extensions and all this stuff going on. But in here, it's completely clean. It's a new Chrome session. So this is really, this is really useful if you have a couple of people using the same computer in the same browser because here we go. We have, uh, you know, you can see right up at top who's who. I mean, this would probably be more useful to name something like, uh, I don't know, Whitson, who would clearly be a ninja, probably. Um, and, you know, then I can edit my own and say this is Adam, and I would be a puppy dog. And you can see that if we're using the same computer, we are clearly identified between the two and have our account separated and everything. This doesn't keep it private. This is, my, my stuff is not going to be private from anybody else's, so it's a very important distinction that you, you, that, that you realize that, you know, just because I have a puppy dog window and Whitson has a ninja window, that doesn't mean that his stuff is going to be separate from my stuff. But if he wants to log in and create a session without having to do a private browsing session, that can be separated very easily by just clicking and choosing our name, and then it will open up a window. If this window is closed and I were to do that again, click on the puppy, choose Whitson, then it would open up a window for Whitson. And you can make new windows, and it seems to just kind of inherit whatever is in use. So a new window from the puppy window is another puppy window. A new window from the ninja window is another ninja window. So that's basically how multiple account works. Again, not a privacy saver, but it will help you differentiate between two different users on the same computer so you guys can go ahead and browse and um, and look at whatever you want without interrupting each other's sessions.